Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Harlequin Coho Invitational Tournament. This is the round of eight, game two in a best of three between Automid and Inverse. Automid, being able to choose the map, has opted to play on Angleville a second time and since this is the second game of the series, the players have swapped factions. So let's go ahead and get this game started and take a look at these factions here. So uh, Automid is going to be playing as Automid 2, his Blitzkrieg commander. You can see he has infantry pillage, flares, stormtroopers, manpower blitz, and heavy armor support. The 1150 version of that that gives you a Tiger and a Stug and or Ostwin. Uh, meanwhile, on the northern side of the map, you can see we have Inverse today playing as his armor commander. Uh, Inverse has got Pershing Reinforcements, Sherman Calliope. Uh, he's got the self-repair ability, HVAP rounds, and Allied War Machine. This is usually the only variation I see for armored players, and uh, Allied War Machine... Uh, can be used to replace lost units in combat. I've seen uh, Inverse use that really well many times in the past. Uh, so we'll get to see if we see any of that here today. So uh, Inverse starting off with looks like a standard opening and perhaps just regular rifleman here. Uh, meanwhile, you can see that Automed 2, and I'm going to take take a peek at Automed 2 uh, starting at the beginning of this because he has some of the early game commander abilities to keep track of here. And it uh, looks like Volk's coming out here for Automed 2. So uh, let's take a look at the minimap right now and just get a feel for some of their early game caps. Uh, you can see that it looks like Automed is going strong for, for just kind of control. He wasn't really opting to try and grab any of these munitions points. Uh, meanwhile... Uh, Inverse is basically doing the inverse of that. Uh, it looks like he's going out strong capping this uh, munitions point, which is disconnected at first, likely going to send his rifleman uh, down here to cap this connecting strategic point. Uh, meanwhile, he's got his engineers in the upper right here going for these juicy uh, fuel and munition points. So uh, it looks like these, uh, <laughs> it looks like we've got the field pioneers here dropping a crippling trap, going to be taking a little bit of fire from these early engineers. It's worth noting, by the way, these engineers have 20% cap rate, 50% minesweeper radius, and uh, a moderate health regeneration. Uh, field Pioneers for the time being just getting out of there. You can tell Inverse saw that go down. I'm sure he's well aware that that crippling trap is there. But uh, for the time being, it looks like Kotz and Myers Volksgrenadier is out on the field for Automid 2. Uh, these guys, of course, can throw hand grenades as well as a bunch of other things. And the skirmishing is sort of beginning here. So just kind of a little bit of play in footsie here. Everybody knows that the other one has some units around here. Uh, and it looks like, oh, check it out. It looks like Automid, trying to be well prepared here, is uh, just going to go ahead and put up a uh, little bit of a sandbag defense here. So we'll tune back into that. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, looks like Inverse doesn't care about the left-hand side of the field. He's grabbed the two zones that he really cares about, uh, and now it looks like he's going to stab all the way in here, call Automate on his bluff, and try and take control over this victory point. Uh, that's a pretty aggressive move uh, right there for sure by Inverse. Um, taking control of the right-hand side of this map will give him control of two victory points. That's really all he needs, so it doesn't really matter how defended uh, Automate is on this side of the map. Uh, this is an interesting configuration here as well. He's got the sandbag set up, providing him green cover, but uh, he does have barbed wire in front of them, meaning that if attacking units come up, they can't take cover directly behind those sandbags. So uh, kind of interesting there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Inverse continuing to cap away down here. You can see he's grabbing that point. Uh, now having a bit of a firefight with these pioneers who are just going to have to get the hell out of there. Or or will they stall? Yes, it looks like he's going to stall. He puts them in the building right now just to kind of provide a little bit of fire. Uh, but without the rifle upgrade, they really don't have the range to do anything. So it looks like they're retreating home for the time being here. Uh, meanwhile, Inverse just kind of uh, establishing control on the right-hand side of the map. Capping this fuel, capping this munitions point, And... Uh, pretty much grabbing everything he needs. So, uh, looks like the task is going to be uh, for Automate to try and see if he can stab back into that side of the territory here. Looks like uh, playing around with barbed wire a little bit here. Uh, accomplished Volksgrenadiers and these Kotzenmeyer Volksgrenadiers. So double hero units out first, uh, right out the gate here for Automed. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Inverse just has a lot of regular riflemen, so that's pretty cool. Uh, riflemen, by the way, uh, ooh, look at them jumping into the building there, just providing some cover. Riflemen, by the way, with 6% accuracy, 6% armor, and 20% sight range. And uh, the double engineer squads are just kind of poking around here. And uh, we'll see what else is going on. Meanwhile, on the upper left, it looks like the third Rifleman Squad out is none other than Wilson's Rifleman Squad. Of course, we have Bazooka Joe there, our beloved bazooka-carrying friend. Uh, and he's probably just going to be on defensive duty for the time being. You can see that the Kotzenmeyer's Volkswagen Deer is already challenging some of this territory owned by Inverse. And now we have the Fatherland HMG team out supporting everybody. Uh, that's looking pretty good here. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on here. This this speaks to me. I think this is some sort of a modern art piece. Maybe maybe an avant-garde statement about the duality of man. Both his, his need to wall himself off from others and remain open. Uh, the medium is barbed wire and straw by Ottoman, 2011. Anyhow, so Wilson's Rifleman just kind of taking some cover here behind this uh, wall here. While, uh, while it looks like just some, some uh, investigative, you know, fighting here. 
Uh, just kind of trying to pin him into his base right now with this Fatherland HMG team, actually. Uh, we do have another squad of riflemen here moving on up. Uh, just kind of engaging these Kotsamayas Volks Reindeers, who uh, do, by the way, have green cover from behind this straw. But as you can see by the mini-map, uh, Inverse has really, really good control over the right-hand side of the map right now, and basically isn't being challenged. So he's just kind of maintaining his control, but I, I think he's he's wary of trying to like come into any of these fancy-looking traps uh, that Automat has down on the ground, um, just because Automat... Ottoman's kind of asking him to come in here, and Inverse doesn't need to. So I think that's a smart decision on his point, just to kind of, you know, stand his ground. Meanwhile, Rifleman just kind of patrolling around here, uh, getting a little sneaky, actually. I kind of wonder what these guys are up to. We'll tune back into them as we see uh, what exactly Ottoman is doing up here. Ottoman trying to cap this munitions point, but you can see that the Wilson's Rifleman can just barely fire at him. Yeah, it looks like they're firing at one of those members there, but not getting a lot done. And check this out. Ooh, these riflemen down here are just kind of scouting around. Uh, they have <laughs> they have bumped into an impenetrable three-foot-high wooden wall, though, uh, and are going to have to head back for now. Uh, meanwhile, we do have uh, some flame engineers moving along here on this side. And now, oh, now Automed once again, uh, beginning his edifice complex, his need to create things, is just building a wall. And uh, you can see setting up uh, all of his troops here behind this heavy cover, uh, providing cover for uh, his field pioneers to be able to uh, cap this munitions point, and uh, just kind of putting some hurt onto the Wilson's rifleman here, who really can't really do much in terms of firing back. So uh, heavy machine gun teams just kind of firing away. Nice little pin on his base. I'm not I'm not too sure what the overall purpose of this is, but it does kind of defend this side of the map. But meanwhile, what the hell is Inverse doing down here? Could it be that he's trying to sneak through this impenetrable wooden wall by using the power of fire? Oh god, I want to tune back into that. I'll keep an eye on that on the minimap right now. You can see Wilson's Rifleman taking a little bit of casualties. And, uh, but the firefight continuing here, but no, here we go. Oh, God, yes, yes, yes. It looks like he's going to do it here. We do have the application of fire on wood, uh, perhaps destroying this fence. Yes, you can see it taking some serious damage. Oh, no, that fence has got to retreat if it wants to get out of there alive. But it looks like, no, it looks like that fence goes down. Uh, Ottomed loses one of his fence units. And now we have a stunning, stunning base attack going on right now by Inverse. Inverse right now just flooding on in. These poor pioneers don't know what to do. What are these engineers? These engi the engineers are setting up demolition charges on the Krieg barracks. Oh, Eng engineers with demolition on the Krieg barracks. Going to have to get out of the way there, see if he's going to pace himself before you. He's just going to detonate that. He doesn't care. He's wrecking this place. All this stuff has got to come down. Building the interstellar highway through here. Just burn down all of these buildings, please. Get out of the way. Uh, looks like a half track. Is it going to ha half track is trying to complete? It's like 99% complete. Yes, the half track does get out of there, but unfortunately, these flamethrower engineers just doing tons of damage in there. The Krieg barracks goes down. Oh my god. I didn't even bother looking at what in what Automat had going on up on the north there. Uh, this is way too interesting, but I really think these guys have to get out of here right now. They are being pinned by a Fatherland HMG team and a half track, but no, not satisfied. It looks like Inverse is going to set up not one, but two, <laughs> two demo charges in this base right now right now demo charge going up will he get it up before the man setting up his shot yes it looks like the half track is firing in the wrong direction and uh let me take a look at inverse's point of view right now yes he did get that he did get the the dead charge up on the bunker oh my god bunker dead charge on the bunker so he is retreating oh no unfortunately it looks like uh, automat however was well aware of this retreat uh you can see he's doing a lot of damage here uh just kind of killing the reinforcements or sorry killing the retreating units uh bit of bit of a firefight right now here between inverse's troops and that uh you can see that inverse also took the time uh to go straight to tier two uh, before then getting his supply yard and motor pool. So he does have a... Whoa, did he just cancel his motor pool? Yes, he did! He has canceled his motor pool, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, meanwhile, this mortar team here just providing some support. Um... Looks like Kotsamire is throwing a hand grenade. Uh, still lots of fighting going on here. Uh, Inverse, by the way, mining this area up, just kind of providing a little bit of extra defenses in here. And uh, uh, still still seeing this detonation charge on that building there. You know, uh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, meanwhile, just a lot of firefighting going on here. I think these guys are going to have to get out of here right now. You can see the mortar rounds just kind of lightly lightly peppering the area. Uh, but uh, it looks like these riflemen are kind of stunned here. I'm just, I'm just constantly checking in on this, you know. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock once said that if a man walks into a meeting with a briefcase and the briefcase blows up and kills everybody in the room, uh, that's just a horror movie or, a, or an action movie. But if a man, if you see a man put a bomb into his briefcase, then walk into the meeting and then just sit there patiently, drink a glass of water, 
and just wait and wait and wait. That is a suspense movie, and we have a suspense movie here. I just kind of want to see if that's ever going to blow up. Anyhow, so uh, a, a really, really daring Maverick attack there by Inverse. Uh, he did a lot of damage to Automed, both uh, <laughs> both physically and psychologically, I think. Um, and now he's just kind of... Uh, but unfortunately, that did cause him to lose a little bit of control of the map. You can see he had to retreat out of this area here. We now have a heavy machine gun team in this building, as well as uh, he is losing that victory point.